Hey there, makers. All right, so if your Z-axis assembly came disassembled like this and your sled has the rails on here like this, then for this video, we are gonna actually take these rails off and attach them to this to start. So to do that, you're gonna need bag Z. So you're gonna have these four L brackets and the Allen wrench and these T-nuts right here and these bolts, these M4 bolts right here and a screwdriver right here, a Phillips screwdriver. To begin, we're going to take our sled and then we're going to flip it over. And on the bottom, you're going to see that there are these six, these six holes right here that have Phillips screws in them. So we're just going to go ahead and loosen these. We're not going to take them all the way out, but we're just going to loosen them a little bit. So maybe a couple turns, maybe three or four turns. You'll feel it loose because what they're doing is they're turning the T-nuts inside of there, which is sweet little marvels of modern engineering that turns sideways when you spin them. So there we go, we loosen them all the way around. Now flip this over. Now hopefully you can kind of just shake this and just shake it right off. But if it doesn't come off, then we can pop the end off right here. So we can take this and we can pop it off or we can use a screwdriver if we want to and pop the end off here because we want to take the end all the way off. You can even kind of pull this way if you want that can kind of get it loose. And we can kind of pull this little end cap off. There we go. And it'll slide off. And we'll see these T-nuts right here. Same thing for this side. Now we're going to set our sled to the side. And when we get to that part in the video, we've already got our T-nuts in there and we're ready to rock. To assemble the Z-axis assembly, we're going to first have to take these little M4 nuts. So the shorter ones, one of the little shorter ones, the one that there's the most of right here. And we're going to screw it in lined up with this extrusion right here. So right here is where we're gonna put them. We're gonna put run right here. And we're not gonna go all the way in, we're just gonna go a little bit, just hand loosen them. Because what this is gonna do is it's gonna help line up where it goes on the rails. So we put that one in right there, and then we'll do the same thing on this side with this one. Now we're gonna take our Z axis assembly and our rails and we're going to attach them. So you can see this part right here that's cut in. That's where these longer M4 screws right here from bag Z, that's where they're gonna go. So they're gonna actually screw into this and then the longer end is gonna be on this side with the blue plate and they're gonna screw into the side right here into this extrusion. So right there into that extrusion. And to get it on there, we'll slide it across. So that's why we just put this bolt just a little bit in there and then we can slide it across until it lines up with that hole and this part can be a little bit tricky because we want to get it to line up so you might have to take it out first and then kind of get it lined up and then put it in there and you'll have to hold it a little bit probably and then we can use our three mil allen and get it tight and you'll know that it's in there when you kind of tighten it a little bit and then it holds it and then we can tighten it and get it really snug because we don't want this to wiggle and then repeat that on the other side. Alrighty, now that we've got our Z-axis assembly with the rails attached to the legs, well, we got our feet on our legs, our feet are attached, then we're gonna go ahead and take our end caps and stick these back on here so they don't get lost. And then we're gonna take these L brackets and the T-nuts and M4s from bag Z and we're gonna take these and we're gonna put each one of these is we're gonna put one of these M4s in here like that and then take the T-nut and with the flat side closest to the flat side flat on flat we're gonna kind of just loosely get it on there because these as you tighten it with the Allen wrench will turn sideways and lock in place they're super cool so we'll put one on each one of these on all four of these brackets each one of the sides on all four of the brackets all right, now that we have our L brackets, we're ready to put them on our Z-axis assembly. So each one of these, they're gonna go two on each side and we'll kind of wiggle them and get them in place. And if the T-nuts fall out, that's fine. We can kind of wiggle them and stick them in there because we wiggle them to kind of put the T-nuts inside of those little grooves. So we kind of wiggle them and get the T-nuts in there. And on mine, like the top ones fell out, that's fine. We can kind of stick that one in there like that. And then when we tighten it, you'll see that it turns sideways. So watch this one right here as I turn it. There we go. That's so cool. Ah! It's one of those things that just never gets tired. It's like getting on an airplane. It's just cool. It's just cool. And then we'll do that all the way around. We're gonna tighten each one of them. So I like to kind of get both of them to where they're turned 
and then crank them really tight once they turn. Okay, now that I've got all four in there, I'm going to go and double check all of them and verify that all of each one of them on each side, all four on each side have turned sideways all the way around. So I'm going to check all of them to make sure they turn sideways and they're nice and tight. Just one of the verifying things that we can do. And this is also kind of a good time just to check and make sure nothing else is loose on here. Just kind of just checking out. Sometimes something can get wiggle around shipping. But uh, this one looks pretty good. All right, now that we've got our feet attached to our legs of our Z-axis assembly, we're ready to hop back in the other video to finish the assembly of this and attach it to the sled. All right, have fun.